be yo what it be yo it is mira it is shira it is viva it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020 show me the monthly energy shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked liked and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos I want to give a big shout out to Miss Law Divination um, because of the bookings and the love that you guys have been sending through the cash app and PayPal it's made me um made me able to support another YouTuber in her cardamancy deck. So this is the um, Vintage Keys cardamancy deck from the beautiful Miss Law Divination. I love this package. It's just so beautiful. And then when you open it, it smells like heaven. I don't know what fragrance this is. That I wish it had smell-o-vision where you could just smell this packaging, y'all. She is amazing. So y'all check out Miss Law Divination. And again, thank you guys so much for all of the bookings and all of the love that you guys have been sharing with me so I could pass the love on to the other beautiful readers here on YouTube. So again, shout out to Miss Law Divination and shout out to every last one of you guys who've been booking with me. I will give your name shout out, but I you know be want to put y'all business all out in the street like that. I don't know if y'all want me to say, oh, you know. You know, I'm such and such, and I, mm -mm, I don't want to put y'all business out there like that, but y'all know who y'all are. Big love to y'all. Um, if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with me, or if these videos resonate and you just want to send some love or send some support to the page by, um, you know, uh, checking out the Amazon wish list, you can check out the description box on this video and click the about tab on my YouTube page. It has my booking information, my contact information, and various forms of support that you can check out if you want to book with me. Um, the best way to reach me is Instagram Messenger or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I only do video readings um, on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, the best way for us to do your video reading is on Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is a free, easy app to download. The only thing we need to exchange is our email. So my email again is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, it's scorpionreds at gmail.com. So if you have any questions or concerns, just hook me, you know, hit me up. Hit me up. All right. So um, you guys, we want to get into the prayer. Of course, we want to get praise and thanks to the power of God for waking us up and bringing us here today collectively. So um, I need to ring my little bell. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, I forgot to do that before I even came on here. Um, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here and uplifting us in the spirit of just love and happiness and just like being gifted with joy and family fellowship and just like peacefulness father god we're here for the sign of leo you already know what it be with us father god we are always just on our stuff father god we're always just prepared we're never scared we're always prepared we're never scared we like to stay prepared we like to stay ready we like to stay focused and we surely would like to bring our strengths and our abilities to the table so father god just continue to just like strengthen us mentally physically emotionally and spiritually in every single way and every single day so that we can put our best foot forward and show you know the best of us um thank you again for all of the blessings that you've given us along our path and our journey father god please give us guidance and wisdom for the sign of leo for december 2020 show me the money energy amen Amen. All right, Leo, let's get into this, baby. Let's get into this here, baby. All right. So let's see. Let's see. All right, now, happy family. I hope that card pop out. I ain't seen that pop out yet. All right. Give me guidance for Leo for December. Thank you so much. What we got here? Ooh. Goodness gracious. Don't nobody got no time for no storm warning. Man, that almost made me want to put that back, but I can't. Shit. Y'all got storm warning, and then you got the goddess of the moon. So, y'all intuition is basically saying that a storm is a been a brewing. That a storm is a been a brewing. I mean, why? Like a why? Kawhi. Why? Completion. 
number 10 completion that's why what goes up must come down all right so let's find out what's been going on what why what is going on with this tearing down the structure and foundation with my leos why is this storm coming father god give me guys for leo what's going on with this storm Give me, Father God, give me like three or four cards for this storm warning, please. What's going on in the center, energy? Thank you. You got the Prince of Cups. So this is going to be like a sudden arrival. There's something coming into you that you wasn't expecting. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's been a delay on that. You got the Seven of Swords. Hmm. You got the justice in the reverse. And then you got the ten of pentacles in the reverse. So, uh-huh. All right. So, what I'm getting here, you guys, surrounding this storm warranting, this storm warranting. Ah. I feel like there's sudden, there's a sudden arrival. Um, I definitely feel like it's not someone that you're expecting to come back around. But they're coming back around with a cup with no pinnacle. It's like with a cup with no pinnacle. It's like they want to... I feel like they want to... It's like they want to ask for forgiveness. Um, even with the seven of swords, I'm not getting like too much negative energy from it i just i really kind of feel that this person is trying to be very logical um is trying to it's like they feel like you're predictable they know what you're going to say they know how you're going to react um i don't know why they think that they can just come to you with nothing though they just feel like if they just come to you and just show up at your door professing their emotions i'm not even saying their love but their emotions and just letting you know how they feel like you just might accept it without you having without them having to give much to you it's like they think that it might be okay to make you wait a little bit longer before they offer something they want to see if You will set their offer emotionally before they give you a foundation or something like that. But to me, I feel like if you're going to come pop up and if you're going to pop up and say anything to me, it's like don't try to strategize your wording, your, your wording and your emotional output where you're going to. It's like. They're trying, it's like, this is finessing at its best. Like, I'm trying to figure out a way to word this. It's like, they want to come through so chivalrously and so dynamic in their approach and just everything that you don't even realize that they're not even offering you anything. It's like, you're getting caught up with their gift to gab and their maneuver and their approach and you know, the appeal and everything. So it's like, they could be studying the words. They could be looking back at everything that you used to do and like studying every action or reaction that they think that you could possibly give so they could have a plan B, C, D, E, F, and G. Do you understand? So it's like, not saying H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Like, no, they got it going on to the P. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like this person is thinking hard, really trying to strategize, trying to come up to a way to out get you to agree with them for you to say that you're sorry i think that like this person is going to finesse you in a way where you're going to apologize to them it's almost like you're happy that I, you should be happy that i'm even around right now you know what i'm saying like and just accept my apology in this cup of love and just be glad that I returned. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like a very cocky, arrogant. Because the Seven of Swords is someone who think that they can outsmart you. That they're 
a clever trickster, they're sneak, there's a they're a spy, they are snooper, they you know what I'm saying? Like this person could have been snooping and watching what you were doing online and see if it was okay to come within a safe distance of you to make this approach. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this person seems calm now. It's about time for me to come and try to my tricks of my trade. You know, like this person almost studied you or whatever. And it's like the justice in the reverse, I don't feel whatever the hell this person did to you, you don't forgive them. Like I said, you don't even see them coming. That's why I feel like this storm warning, this storm is a brewing. I don't think that you even, you don't even understand this person's capability and what this person will try to do and what this person will say to try to weasel their way back into your heart, your mind, into your soul. I feel like this is a warning because this person is very capable. They're very able and they're sitting up there plotting and strategizing just how to make the approach so that you would accept their behavior and apologize for their wrongdoing. It's like they're going to find a way. And this has happened to me before. I've literally had someone... Make me feel bad. And I'm like, cause I, I looked at, I'm like, how the fuck did I end up apologizing? This motherfucker did some fucked up shit to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. The seven of swords, it's like this person could have got already got away with a lot of shit. Like this person got away. And you got the six of swords right here. And you see how the six of swords is all tangled up in each other. And then it's like the ace of swords. So it's like I'm going to have to try to throw some truth in this shit somehow. You know, because this person is, you're far away from this person. Y'all are separated. There's a separation here. You know what I'm saying with that six of swords, with that ace of swords land. Like if if they're going to come back around, they got to tell the truth. The whole truth or nothing but the truth. But that's not who this person is. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Y'all definitely, this is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you guys have definitely had a separation of divorce and a separation of assets. So, um, yeah. The justice in the reverse. So this could even be like, in the court proceedings, like this person could have loss uh uh oh they said that they lost their dignitary respect oh lord oh lord oh lord i want to say that this person it's like embarrassing for them to be in court having to go to a divorce like having to separate and and and, and pay alimony and have to testify and it's i feel like this person is going to come back around trying to find a way to rectify the situation without having to go to the court settlement because they feel like they may lose it all the four cups again this okay you're bored with the situation you're definitely rejecting the offer here you don't want this prince of cup offer you don't want this shit you're not satisfied with it you're not satisfied with it at all it's like they're not even offering nothing you feel like they're just Offering to you to save a penny, to save a dime, to save some time. So you, can, I feel like you guys are going to a divorce court. There's going to be some type of divorce settlement. There's going to be a judgment uh, placed at some point in time because the justice is on the table. You already know that the justice system is more suited for your side here. This person already knows that they're wrong. They're already trying to figure out some way to swindle and maneuver their lives with a sprinkle of truth to make it make sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like a lot of lies with a sprinkle of truth to kind of cover up the manipulation. Like I really am just trying to buy me some more time and save some money. It's cheaper to keep her type of thing. I could come back and act like I want to, you know, offer him love. Because I do love him. I do care about him. But I'm not really trying to offer stability and like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just trying to. I really feel like someone is just trying to save some money in a divorce battle. Mm. I ain't want all of that shit. So, you got the Queen of Cups here. You got the Queen of Cups. 
And you see, she follows her intuition. She's got it by the moon. She knows. She, it, she like, she, I feel like she's the beholder of secrets as well. Like, she is like the queen of comes. But the way that she's carrying herself, she is definitely giving, like, high priestess and training or something like that. It's like, she's not scared to go into the hidden and the unknown to figure out and to search um, what's going on with her. Do you understand? So, it, it, yeah. right here. You see like how she hit her cup? You see how she hit her cup up in the tree? It's it's like she hit her cup up in the tree. Cuz you it's like someone could have already fucked up the foundation with this three of cups right here. It's like they may have exacerbated all of your supply, all of your Exacerbated. I don't even use that fucking word. Where in the fuck did that come from? It, and then this is the Prince of Wands in the reverse. So it's like you could have like someone could have overdone it, could have overextended themselves, could have like overspent their value almost. Like bringing too many gifts to the party. Um It's like, what am I getting here? I am getting like, because I'm getting, it was fun while it lasted. Like, it was fun for a little bit. Damn, y'all just got all these cards all over the place. Like, it was fun, but it's all of that shit is ran out. It's like, it's not fun anymore. Like, I don't even think if, I don't even know if I want to be involved with you anymore. Like, it wasn't satisfactory. Like, you... We're giving the same attention to me as you were giving to other people. And at first, like, I really didn't care. But in the long haul, do I really want that? Like, no, like, I'm going to be bored. I'm not going to be satisfied. Like, I need someone that's fully committed to me, not just a good time. I need something other than just us partying and having a good time. I need something more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person really wants love. She's focused on her spirituality. I feel like she hit her cup from this person because she was thinking about rejecting this person anyway. 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 I don't think that there would have ever been a ten of pentacles here. Like, let's, let's keep it 100. If this was a marriage, which I kind of do feel like this is a marriage. Like, this was a marriage that was here. This was a marriage. Intuitively, like, you knew that this person was running around. This is the page of, this is the Prince of Wands. You got the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Cups. Like, this person is still not growing. Again, it's like, you're just coming around and, like, you've already left. You've already been put out. I've already asked you to go with the Six of Swords. You're trying to manipulate me and come out, come back with a partial truth because you know that I'm divorcing you because you were running around. You were not, you were non-committal. You were only worried about self. Look, whatever we had, it was good for a little bit, but it fizzled out fast. It fizzled out fast. Like we were having a good time at first, but once I realized that you were running around and having a good time with other people and it was very inconsistent. I, I just wasn't satisfied. I am very intuitive. I had to trust what my heart was telling me to do. You know? It's time to move on. You know? I was having thoughts of moving on. I wasn't satisfied. I was thinking of rejecting you. You know? I'm not about to sit here and let other options pass me by by something I'm not really satisfied with. You don't spend enough time with me. You know what I'm saying? Like... Only thing we do is have sex. Like, I don't want to just have sex, you know? Like, especially if you having sex with someone else. I'm the fuck missing. Like, I, I am the fuck missing on that. Like, this would have never been a happy home. Or, or wasn't a happy home because you were not keeping your primary focus on me. So, it's like I just decided to move on. I decided to move on. And, like, now this person is trying to think about what to say. And I really don't care what you say. The two of pentacles in the reverse. There's a lack of foundation. There's a lack of foundation. There's a lack of balance. Like you're not about to have your cake and eat it too. Like 
I know that's a stupid ass saying because if I buy some cake, I'm going to eat it and I'm going to enjoy it. But like, mm, no, like for whatever reason that they say that saying, it's like you can't have your cake and eat it too. This person, what is this? She's like whoever this person is in this situation with the high, I mean with the um the temperance in the reverse. This is the temperance in the reverse. It's the lack of faith, and I feel like this person is tired of always being on guard, feeling like they have to protect themselves at every turn, at every time, you know. And it's like I feel like in a marriage, like you shouldn't have to wear protection, like. I, I feel like this has something to do with not wearing protection as well. It's like, when you're married, you should be able to have sex with your partner and, and, and feel safe and secure and, and, and not wear protection. I feel like this person feels like they have to wear protection with you. They have to set a standard. They have to set a barrier. And it's like, I don't, I don't have any faith in you that I can have sex with you and I can give you my love wholeheartedly and not be protected like I would have to be protected around you like I don't know where you've been I don't know where you've been going like you've been too in and out you've been too inconsistent you're only focused on yourself and what you want you're not offering me anything I'm divorcing you or I don't want to be around you for a reason there's definitely better things out here for me you over here struggling trying to think of some manipulative ass shit to say to make me feel like I done did something to you like I right, I right. I got over you a few weeks ago. Like, honestly. Two of Pinnacles in the reverse. Like, I had to put you down and focus on me. I had to put you down and focus on me. Because, like, the Two of Pinnacles is like, something was lacking. It's like I'm not able to juggle and keep things balanced because one weight was heavier than the other. I can't I can't carry all of that weight. I'm not I need I need to be even. I need it to be even. And I just feel like you you lost faith. You lost faith in this person and you lost faith in this commitment and you didn't understand where it was going. So it's like <clears throat> I definitely feel like someone's coming back, you guys. But I don't see you going back. I'm completely unbothered and unmoved by it. And I don't feel like you weak at all. I just feel like you're tired of fighting with this person. Like with this nine of wands in the reverse, this is someone that's tired of having to defend themselves. They're tired of having to watch their back, stay in their guard, look around. I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want to deal with that shit at all. Tired of that shit. You can go the fuck on and go somewhere with yourself. I'm completely dropping you. Completely dropping you. Resolute resoluteness. Why well, I can't talk? Resolution. Resoluteness. Resoluteness. Am I saying that right? I don't even fucking know. Whatever. And then what is this saying? Darkening of the light. I've never even seen this one before. Let's see what this shit is talking about. This person seems stern than the motherfucker. What is this saying? Determination, no compromise, unwavering focus, inner resolve, integrity, a test to character, to self-examination. Do you see how it said like, like, sir, you're not going to be looking at me like that. Like, I'm so sorry. I really do feel like this person is, like, very fixated and determined to come back and offer you shit and pretend like it's sugar. Like, I don't know where the fuck I heard that from. Like, I'm so serious. How you gonna offer someone shit and pretend like it's sugar anyway? Shit don't look nothing like sugar. But that is the seven of swords. That's that manipulation. That is that bravado. That is that coming back. Feeling like they so slick. And they are so manipulative. That they can like convince you of anything. And you'll believe that shit. And they'll just keep, keep, keep on. It's like keep pressing it. Like no, no. Like just take the cup. Like. We'll work on the foundation. We'll work on everything. No, I'm going to come back. Like, don't think that I'm not going to come back. Blah, say, blah, say, blah. Let's just start over. Bullshit. Let's just start over. Like, you ain't never going to forgive me and just let shit go. If I'm coming to you with my heart in my head, why you don't believe what I'm saying? Like, why you always think I'm lying? What do you mean? 
We don't have to let everything go and just throw everything to the side and start over. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing to us? Like, why would you do this to us? Like, this motherfucker trying to blame everything on you. So you just going to drop everything? You just going to drop everything? You really do think it's the grass is greener on the other side? You all on this spiritual shit now? You all think your intuition, you're so intuitive now? You're bored with our relationship? Like, you just going to let a good thing pass you by like that? Like, what do you mean? Where's your faith? You don't have no faith in our relationship? What do you mean you're tired of fighting? You're tired of fighting for us? Is that what you're saying? You're tired of fighting for us? <laughs> like, this motherfucker is really about to lay it down. Oh, my God. This says, darkening of the light. Maintain a low profile. Look inwards first. Caution and moderation. Difficulty, self-protection, subdue. Your brilliance, y'all. I love this. I love this. It's like I'm trying to tell y'all this person going to come on hard. They tell your ass to maintain a low profile. Listen, lay low. Because I'm trying to tell you this person is. This person is going to just come up and just going to try to rock your world. And I don't think that they're just going to be let down or just walk away easily. Caution and moderation. Look inward first before you say anything. Difficulty, self-protection. You're going to, and remember like the nine of wands, it's like, I know you're tired. I know your body is weary and you just want to lay down and rest and this should be done. But you're going to have to, you know, you are going to have to face this person again, bro. You know, this person is not just going to just let you go just that easily. Like, this is just not going to happen, Leo. You hear me? Just not going to happen. Like, oh my goodness. Let's see. Ooh. And I swear, my spread has been so different for each one of these readings. I've just been like, listen, I'm just about to just <laughs> rock out. I feel like this person is going... What is this? The Seven of Arrows? This is the Seven... This, this is the same goddamn Seven of Swords, man. This is the same Seven of Swords. This is in the reverse, though. So, again... I feel like this person is going to have like a full on fucking attack. Like whatever tricks, whatever maneuvers, whatever they can say to kind of get at you so that you would do what they want. They're going to do it like this person is going to pull out old shit, old memories that make you feel bad about yourself. Pick at your old insecurities and bring that shit up about how they helped you. And if it wasn't. For them, then you would still be a fat bitch, or you wouldn't do this, or blah, 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 or when I met you, you ain't have this and this and that. And I feel like you you, you feel like you are being attacked by this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, the king of, the prince of wands in the reverse is very immature and indecisive on what they want and it's like when they finally feel like that they're fixated and they want you and they feel like you're resisting them they can be very juvenile you know what i'm saying what is this the knight of stones the horse so the nine of stones is like literally the nine of pentacles so i feel like this person is going to get with what's coming to them this person is most definitely going to get what's coming to them. And you're going to get what's coming to you. Um, I want you to just stay focused. I feel like you're in a correct position. Don't disarmor yourself at all. Don't disarmor yourself. But I feel like you need to step up your security. 
step up your common sense. You know that this person is going to say and trying to do anything to knock you down, to try to take you out. Like this person is worthless. This person is a piece of shit. With this Knight of Pentacles right here, like this person is going to get what's coming to them and you're going to get what's coming to you. It's just taking a while for it to get here. But you're definitely going to be stable and secure in the long run. Know that. But that's why this person is trying to attack you. Because they know that in the big picture of things, like you're going to walk out of this. You're going to walk out of this situation. Is this the four of cups again? And then again, this is another form of rejection. Like it's just constant rejection and refusal on your part. Like I feel like. You're tired of emotional sickness in this situation. Like, you need a chance to breathe. You need a chance to think. You need a chance to be by yourself and uh, try to reassess the situation in life in the way you want it to be to paint a perfect picture. It's a, I feel like you were so unpreoccupied with this situation. And you, you just... I feel like I, look, I just want it to be over. It's like, I just want to get this money. Get this divorce so we can get this separation. I don't want to argue with you. Like you in court trying to bring up old past shit. And it don't matter. It's like you're not going to win. Regardless of how you look at it. How you cut it. I'm not going to let you win. Period. Because it's like even. even it's, I feel like the judge and everybody sees how evil you are. And how you keep trying to attack me. Look the queen is so, the queen of stones. You see how like she is. A big old grizzly bear. Like she is protecting herself. She is keeping herself secure. And. I, I feel like you're just. I feel like the, the Leo. This queen of stones. This is a fierce energy right here. And with the knight of stones right here. It's like you know. That regardless. It don't matter if it's today or tomorrow. I'm going to stay patient. You can sit here and attack me. You could try to manipulate me. You can say things to hurt me. You could try to bring up old shit to embarrass me if you want. It doesn't matter. I still don't forgive you. You're not going to come in and out of my life. I don't give a fuck about what you say. How uncompromising you are. Bitch, I'm uncompromising. I'm not taking no losses. You can understand that now and you're going to get it later. The Two of Pentacles, I am dropping you because you... Do not have the same standards and the capabilities that I do. If you cannot bring in the same resources that I can to make shit balance, then you do not need to be around me. I can keep my one pinnacle to myself and I can focus on myself. I am bored. I am rejecting you. I don't respect you. Do you understand? I've had too much to drink. I can't even think. I need a sober mind, a sober body. I need time to heal. All right? I need to stay focused on myself and my investments and my family. Anybody else can get the fuck away from me because you don't want no smoke. Do it look like you want smoke? I don't think so. I don't think so. You guys may be playing it cool. You may be laying it low right now. Because you, you don't want everybody in your business. You don't want everybody around you. You just want the separation to be over. I just want to separate. And I, I want... To alienate myself from everybody that I used to know. Like, I don't want, you know, I don't want to be around any of these people. I don't even see no kids. Like, I'm really glad that y'all don't have no kids. Because I didn't see any kids. Give me guidance and love for my Leos. Matahari. I feel like your um your reputation is being assassinated in the public because it's like I want to say like someone is trying to paint this picture out as to who you are. It says always be ready for the performance of your life. Seduction is the most powerful currency. Your true friends see through your disguise. I don't know the story of Matahari, but I'm definitely going to, it's like, do you see all of these people that are sad in the background? It's like, they're seeing this beautiful woman about to be slaughtered in front of a firing, a firing squad. And for what? And for what? It's like, you never know when you, 
It's like you never know when you're going to take your last breath. I don't know why the fuck I was saying that. Why? Why did she come out? Because it's like... They keep saying assassinated in the public. It's like this motherfucker is trying to assassinate me. Like, are you serious? They're saying someone can't take rejection. Y'all better, um... The Five of Cups. It's because you turned around and you rejected them. Like, you do not want anything to do with this person. And, then, and remember, I'm trying to tell you, it's this card right here that's making me concerned. This card is kind of making me concerned a little bit. I want you guys to pay attention. And remember, like, that other card told you to, to lay low. And you see how it's like, you see how this girl is like being attacked with arrows, like something. Yeah, I hope it ain't like no Tory Lane situation going on out this motherfucker. Because I, I, I feel like it's someone that ain't trying to let go. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So, I really feel like because you turned around and you decided to walk away, like this person wants to bring a whole bunch of drama into your life. Like they may be trying to assassinate your character, assassinate you in public. It may like... Mm. So I'm, I'm serious, like they may try to pop up on you to get some things straight. The Queen of Cups. You got the Queen of Cups here and you got the Queen of Wands. So, the Queen of Cups is like, if you do have kids, you may just be alone right now, focused, very nurturing, very beautiful, worried about your kids. But at the same time, with the Queen of Wands and the reverse energy, it's like you may have an attitude right now. Like, the Queen of Wands is quick-tempered. Um, she could be evil. She could be um, very nasty out of the mouth. Uh even promiscuous and all that stuff. I don't know if this is what he... If this is who you really are. And this is how he tried to paint you out to be. Like some type of slut. All over the place. Like you not really taking care of your kids. You too busy out in the street. Instead of doing what you need to do. Like you know. You be dressing like a whore. And like I... like Why do I feel... I really do feel like it's like some type of attack or slander on your character. And it's like... For real, like you be at home chilling. Focusing on what you need to be focused on. Like you're not even doing all of this shit. But this person be trying to paint you out to be like a different picture. A different character to make people believe like... You're this nasty person that you be out there... And then bopping and, and all of this stuff. It's like contrary to public belief, like you're actually a good woman and you just you got one child or one baby father. Like, you know, you just don't want to be with them. You know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's like this person is trying to take your beauty by messing up your character to, to people especially like if you're in court or something like that this person is saying some very very wild things about you in, in, in court and I can see that you being very annoyed by it because at the end of the day if you was that much of a bad person or all of this shit like that like why in the hell would this person keep trying to offer themselves to you so it's like just a week ago, you were coming around here trying to offer me to take you back. But now, because I'm trying to settle out with you on court because I really want to get rid of you and stuff. You in here having it up, making all these stories about me and things like that. And I'm still bored. I still don't want you. You know what I'm saying? It's like I still don't want nothing to do with you. And this is why I don't want nothing to do with you. Because you being, you be acting simple. And it's like you always be trying to bring up shit that you know hurts me. It's like this person like... 
And I told y'all this person is watching y'all. Didn't I tell y'all the sunglasses? I told y'all this person is watching y'all. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. I told you. Passion, insane, chemistry. I told y'all this person is, um, this person giving me toy lanes, y'all. Especially, like, if you know that this person got any type of guns or something like that. And, because, like, the whole thing that they're saying about Megan Thee Stallion is, like, she was trying to leave. This person didn't want to let her go. She was trying to get out of the car, and a nigga started shooting at her feet. And as you can see, like, first, this person is trying to attack you, like, verbally, you know, and make you feel insecure and, and just, like... Anything to like verbally slaughter you and then like things can seriously get physical. So watch yourself because I feel like you're dealing with a crazy person here. You got the mask on and I like you. So it's like this person is trying their best to like mask and keep everything inside like how they feel about you. But this person still likes you. Like, regardless of everything that happened. And I really do feel like they are watching you. And you need to pay attention. You really need to pay attention. Again, like, the seven of swords meaning, like, the seven of swords is, like, a spy like an enemy on a camp do you understand what i'm saying so it's like you you pop you the date and then the twin flames so like this is someone that you used to date like someone that you consider like i you know i don't like the word twin flame so i don't believe in that shit so the context around the twin flame is negative as shit like Again, why would you want to be with someone that you running and chasing behind someone to treat you like shit? <laughs> like, you, you sitting back waiting for someone to get their self together so that y'all could be together. Like, that's the stupidest fucking concept I've ever heard of in my life. I feel like this person that you dating is extremely off balance and throws you off balance. And, I, and that's why you're not focusing on these people. You may be focusing on someone else especially not this person i definitely feel like this person will bring a lot of bad luck and misfortune to you if you try to start dating someone else that's when this motherfucker's going to go crazy this person is watching you and if you start liking someone else that you feel passionate about like that's when the mask is going to come off bitch and i'm trying to tell you that this person is going to act like a fucking psychopath i'm serious gonna be talking all type of shit about you you don't every whore in the book you don't watch your kids you don't take care of your business y'all divorced or y'all was breaking up because you was probably cheating the whole time when you probably wasn't you got the seven of wands in the reverse so again like whatever this person tries to do to attack you to try to incriminate you to try to make you feel like you did this you did and i don't care what type of gossip and slander this person tries to say ignore this motherfucker and focus on your goddamn blessing and your current options I'm serious. I really do feel like someone is about to act like a fucking psychopath, y'all. I'm serious. And this person is like relentless. 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 Look, it says determination, no compromise, and unwavering focus. Do you understand? Like, this person has an unwavering focus on you, and it's like they're going to get you to listen and to take them back and forgive them. And the justice is in the reverse you do not forgive them there's a not enough adequate evidence that shows me listen that you are coming this offer that you're coming around with is not being backed up with any you know evidence it's not being backed up with any proof it's not being backed up with any tangible like tangible evidence you don't have anything to show for it you say that you love me you say that you offer okay well where's the ring or Where's the foundation? What are you bringing to the table? What are you going to do to prove to me? You're not doing anything to prove anything to me. Do you understand? You're just talking. You understand? Like, no, I don't forgive you. I don't forgive you. I feel like this person is watching you and this motherfucker is crazy. With the seven of swords, they are definitely trying to figure a way to conjure and manipulate the rest of the best out of you. 
And you gotta watch this motherfucker because this person, I really do feel like it's about control and it's about them not lose. I feel like they feel like you're, they, they're your possession of theirs. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a possession of theirs and they don't want nobody else to have you. You know, so have it be by slander or them physically hurting you because I don't. Put it past this person that this person would physically hurt you. And then again with this Nine of Wands. Like I don't know if you were going through a stage where you felt like you were constantly having to look over your shoulder. And to protect yourself from this person. But you might have to go through it again. I don't feel like the fight is over. Um, Like don't lose faith. Use your intuition and protect yourself. Again it says darkening of the light. Maintain a low profile. Why would the card tell you to maintain a low profile? All these seven of fucking swords that popped up here. Like it was there near seven of swords out of every motherfucking deck that popped up on this goddamn table. I'm not even about to hold you, Mo. Listen, it says maintain a low profile. Look inward first. Caution and moderation. Like... If you don't be no places, you ain't got to be. Okay? Difficulty, self-protection, subdue your brilliance. Like, with this subdue your brilliance, I feel like it's saying, like, please don't talk too much shit with this motherfucker. Really think that they know what they what you think and what you about to do and everything like that. Don't let your right hand tell the left hand. You know what I'm saying? Just... Stay focused. Stay for y'all tell me what's going on in the comments, man. Cause like I'm really getting like y'all are dealing with someone that I'm concerned about y'all safety. And I can't see like especially with all this rejection. Y'all had hella seven this was and y'all had hella fucking four cups in an upright where y'all are rejecting this person. You're not thinking about this person. Some people really cannot handle rejection. And, like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Okay, Leo, I love you. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comments. Peace.